you know, you didn't get the win, but you showed a lot of heart, and you probably improved your stock a lot in defeat. Right. Who, you know, what would you like to do next? I'm sure you're going to be back on HBO soon. And <laughs> Chill out with my family. <laughs> Go eat some good Cuban food and some good soul food, and then I'll talk to my uh, my, my team about what's going to happen next. Right, but how proud are you? How how proud are you of your performance tonight? And what do I you mean, take out with you? I'm very proud. Like I said before, I'm signed to Artie Palua, who's right in the middle. You know, I'm not going to do like other middleweights do and stand behind my promoter and my advisor or my network knowing that I'll never get a fight with Gennady Golovkin and then call him out. You know, I'm right on the middle of the fence. I could go with A side or B side. And when the opportunity came up, I went and fought him. And you know, like I said, a lot of people were saying, you must be getting paid a lot. You know, I know the other two opponents that were gonna fight Gennady Golovkin were getting paid more than me. I just said, hey, I feel like I'm one of the best middleweights in the world. I'm a true fighter. Let me fight the best middleweight in the world. And I just came up short. It's been the so. sixth round. Did you feel like there was still something left? Yeah, I felt like it was something left. But, uh, I mean, like, you know, I just couldn't find my feet. You know, you got to give it to me. The hard punch you know? So, I mean, hats off to him. He did, it. he did what he was supposed to do. You got any words in Spanish? Um, dale. Balate, balate. <laughs> My abuelo used to say, Palante como un elefante, before like an elephant, baby. So that's what I'm gonna do, no matter what happens. I got the heart of a champion, you feel what I'm saying? You're gonna have to kill me and drag me up out of that ring, you feel what I'm saying? That's, that's just me, you know, I, I fight to the death, you know what I mean? So no matter what's going on, no matter what it look like, you know what I mean? I, I believe in God and I work hard. A lot of people talk about Triple G's power, like no secret, but what right. they don't talk about his ability to cut off the ring yeah. very, very well. Is that, is that part of the reason why you couldn't move so well? No, no, no. Like you do no, he come with some good shots that uh, I just couldn't get my legs up on him, you know, but when I was moving and slipping and dodging, he was missing big shots and I was making him pay a few times. But it was just, it was just one of those things that happened in boxing, you know what I mean? That's, I mean, that's, just had a bad night. I had a great training camp, man. Hats off to my camp, my trainers, Tony Morgan, Danny Akers, Lee Davis, Timothy Nolan. We had a great camp. I have no excuses. He was just a better man tonight. Was there something that surprised you? Um, nah, nah. I mean, he's a great fighter. You know what I mean? And like I said, if you want to be the best, you have to fight and be the best. And I stepped up and tried it, and I fell short tonight. Really? Yes. Uh, you know, he came out and boxed well in the opening round. Right. And then, then when he was able to hurt you, did that make you hurry up and fight more aggressive sooner than you wanted to? Did, were you going to try and box some more rounds, and then he dropped you, and you had to get this guy off you? Yeah, that's that's more of what would happen. I wanted to try to box him and then sort of press him, you know, by mid-fight, press him a little bit. Because when I sit in the pocket with him and try to back him up, I mean, he couldn't land big shots. He doesn't like fighting at close, close quarters. So, uh, I mean, but it, it just didn't happen. Yeah, I mean, after I got knocked down, I said, shoot, I got to fight this dude, you know what I mean? I got to make it a brawl. You know what I mean? I don't mind fighting, you know, everybody know my style is Oscar Wala Cubana to move and box. But you know, I also have the heart of a warrior too, so once I get touched, I gotta touch you back. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There was a lot of people saying you gave GGG the, maybe the toughest fight we've seen here in America since he's come to American shores. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I believe so, but I mean, he did his thing tonight, so I, I take nothing away from him. You know, like I said, I'm one of the best middleweights, and I fought the best middleweight, and I came up short, so that's, you know, that's, that's, that's in the nutshell. Everybody wants to see Gennady against Canelo and Cotto. Does right. he beat those guys in your opinion? He probably beat Cotto, but I think he'll have some problems with Canelo. Canelo has fast hands and Canelo fights well on the inside. Canelo's very strong himself. So, um, I mean, I think he'll have some problems with Canelo, but Cotto, he'll, you know, they, they, they'll go, if they go head up, I'll give him the power edge.